Everybody in Yes has a job. Um, I don't mean like a part-time job. Uh, <laughs> although we probably should have. Um, I, I discovered that on the very first time I ever um, joined the band. Back in 1970, it was August 1971. And little known facts, absolute true story. I arrived for the first rehearsal um, and it was above a shop in Shepherd's Market, which is in Mayfair in, in London. And August, summer. And I was a little confused upon arriving because there was the shop and there was a staircase that went up, the, up where we rehearsed up the top. And so I had to go up the staircase. And in the shop, in the doorway, were four or five extremely attractive women wearing fur coats. And I couldn't work this out in the middle. I thought it must be a farrier's. Wrong. It was a brothel. Uh, so, yes, actually rehearsed above a brothel, which probably accounted for why Chris was late most days for rehearsals. <laughs> the very first rehearsal, I remember it extremely well, because Chris arrived and uh, he'd, he'd got this idea for a bass riff in the car, which was a, a, fast, for a fast run. And uh, but, uh, he just played it. And uh, then Steve said, well, I've got, I've got a bit that goes on the end of that, uh, which with the fast bass riff was the older... And the bit that Steve had was the... And then we got a bit more, and somebody added a bit more, and I said, oh, I've got a middle bit that goes... And I suddenly realised how, yes, things work. They work like a jigsaw, and everybody brings different pieces in, so everybody brings the themes and bits of music. But Steve, uh, his bit, he, his main bit was bringing in the unique part of, of, of a sort of playing almost like spider guitar around all of the themes, to, you know, which sort of like holds them together, a bit like barbed wire almost. Um, there was John, of course, who, who, apart from bringing themes and things, wonderful lyrics to, to all sorts of things. Uh, Chris, who, uh, who sort of fought with Steve, really, to sound like a lead guitar, and sort of turning everything up. Uh, amazing sound, not playing like any normal bass player. And, and Bill, whose main job seemed to be telling Chris that everything he was doing was wrong. <laughs> you can edit this bit out. It's not a problem. It, I just find it fascinating, because I was there. Um, <laughs> And I soon found out what my job was, which I mentioned before when I did, and you and I, it was, because uh, uh, John said, when, 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 once when we did uh, this other piece of music, there's all these bits of pieces floating around. And John said, well, you went to the Royal College of Music. And I said, yeah. He said, you know how to put things together in different keys. I said, yeah. He said, I put that lot together. And that's how Roundabout was put together. That was my job, putting bits of music and things together. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. And uh, basically... I suppose there's various bits and pieces of music over the years of Yes that, that mean an awful lot to me. I played one which was Anne, You and I. Awaken is my favourite, but it's bloody hard to do on the piano, so I won't be doing that. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a great big church organ and all sorts of things, and, and it's a piano. Um, although, having said that, I am working on an arrangement for it for the piano. There's a lot of silence because when the church organ plays, but I am working on, a, <laughs> on an arrangement. Uh, this is two pieces that, that mean quite a lot to me. One is uh, Wondrous Stories, because John sent me this in, the, oh, crack, it was October 76. Um, he said, he sent me this piece of music on a cassette. He said, listen to this, this is the sort of music we're doing or want to do for a new album. Come, come over to Switzerland and, and uh, you, know, you know, join us and things. And I listened to this song, Wondrous Story, I thought just what an absolutely beautiful song it was. Um, I saw it's one of the nicest songs John wrote. And the other one is one that we did in Montserrat uh, during the um, Anderson, Bruford, Wakeman, Howe days. And we were recording down there at um, George Martin Studios. And it was about two o'clock in the morning and John and I had been for a walk. And we came back and it was a beautiful studio. And there was always, the lights were always on in the studio. And to get to the living quarters, you had to go through the studio. And we walked through and I sat at the piano and started playing and John started singing. And... Uh, when we sort of finished, John said, can you remember what you played? And I said, can you remember what you sung? He said, let's try it. And we tried it. And we, he said, well, we did it again. He said, well, if we can remember it again in the morning, we'll record it. And we did. And that's what, how the meeting uh, came to be written. So I'm going to do Wondrous Stories and the meeting. 